Hi, and welcome to the start of a new school year and a new episode of Counselor's Corner. I am Jill English, and this is Lori Halberg, and we are both counselors at Dow High School. We are here today to share information about all the things happening in the Counseling Center at both Dow High and Midland High. One of the most anticipated days of the summer is waiting for students to receive their schedule for the new school year. This information will become available to students and parents at Home Access Center near the end of August. Each high school will offer a day for students to come into the building and walk their schedule, arrange their locker, pay for parking passes, and take care of all things related to the beginning of the new school year. If you are new to the school, you will be assigned a counselor and you will find that name on your schedule. Your counselor will be the person to contact if you have any questions about your schedule. The best way to contact your counselor in the summer is through school email and we will get back to you when we are in our office. Once the school year starts, you can come into the counseling office at both schools and fill out an appointment slip and drop it in the box or basket. We will schedule an appointment with you as soon as we can. Each new school year brings about a lot of change. Some students will be new to the building and others will experience the change of teachers and classes. So it's really important during this time of transition to start the school year off on a positive note. Communicating with teachers is a key piece to being successful in your classes. Teachers are eager to help, so don't be afraid to ask for it when you need it. Also, be sure to check Home Access Center regularly. This is a way for parents and students to stay on top of homework assignments. It is also important to get into the habit of checking your school email on a regular basis. You can either check it on a computer, or if you happen to have a phone that allows you to check your email, make sure that you add your school email to the account on your phone for easy access. And if you are struggling in a class and would like the help of a tutor, please talk to your counselor. Counselors can set you up with a volunteer student tutor. We will introduce you and help you come up with a weekly meeting time. While we are just beginning the school year, seniors are already thinking about next year. We recommend that all college applications are completed by Halloween. However, applications should be completed earlier than that for the colleges that are more competitive. To apply, go to the college website and on their home page they typically have a button that says apply now or apply here, um, fill out the application and hit the submit button. Students who are going to apply to University of Michigan will use the common application to complete the application. After students complete the college application, they need to request that their transcript is sent by using parchment.com. Although, if a student is applying through the Common App, their counselor will upload their transcript so they do not need to request it through Parchment. Parchment is the site that the State of Michigan uses to send transcripts electronically, and counselors will work with seniors in order to set up their account. The last step in completing the college application process is making sure your ACT or SAT scores are sent to the college. If your, if your student selected colleges to send scores to when they originally took the test, then they are all set. But if they did not, then they need to go to either actstudent.org or collegeboard.org and request that their scores are sent to the college. There is a small fee for this, just so you're prepared. Throughout the fall, college reps will be visiting the high schools so that students can learn more about various colleges and have a time to ask questions. Students should listen to the announcements for a list of who is visiting when, then sign up in the Counseling Center to receive a pass to attend the visit. Another way to talk to many college reps at one time is by attending Northwoods College Night at their Hawk Center. This happens on Thursday, September 29th from 6.30 to 8 p.m. and there will be both in-state and out-of-state colleges represented. Now at the other end of the spectrum, we have freshmen who are getting adjusted to life at the high school and may wonder how do they make an appointment with their counselor. As Jill stated, their counselor's name will be listed on their schedule so they know who they need to make an appointment with. To set up an appointment at both Dow High and Midland High, students will complete an appointment request form and saying what hour is good for them to visit and a brief description of why they want the appointment. Then in class, students will receive a pass saying when to come and see their counselor. That's it for this month's Counselor's Corner. Visit us next month when we have more important information.